<laughs> hey guys, it's Bess and welcome back to another artist talk. So this artist talk, I'm going to talk about basically hand gloves and for digital artists, you know, really my opinion and what I feel about hand gloves that you use when you draw. Um, I recently got mine in the mail. This is what... <laughs> <laughs> so pitiful, right? <laughs> well, this is what came in the mail and it's, you know, basically, um, it was in a big box, a big Amazon box because I was trying to buy some keto goodies for me and I was like, oh, wait a minute. Um, I know Sailor Moon fangirl was talking about hand, you know, the gloves that she used for her tablet and stuff and how nice and smooth it is. So I was like, hey, why not try it? Right? So <laughs> I went ahead. I got one. And um, this is by Hudon. Um, they're a different tablet company. They're like, they're like the cheaper version of Wycoms. So I have a Wycom, so I know exactly, you know, how those things work. But I didn't, never, I never tried this. Like, <laughs> who does? Like, I don't. Um, but I heard it's supposed to take away the friction. Like when your screen gets hot, there's not so much friction between your hand and the screen. And um, it makes things a lot more smoother. You're not clicking on every single thing as you move your hand, which I tend to do a lot. So um, I do want it. I wanted to unbox it and also um, do a quick little drawing and show you guys uh, what you call that videoception. <laughs> so um, yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and it has a little tab. So it's basically it comes in this little thing. You got hood on. Says glove for graphic monitors, graphic tablets. Um, it comes. You know, it comes like, it has two fingers and then the rest of your hand is out. Um, I got the left, the uh, right hand, the right hand, yeah. Um, so yeah, it comes with this little tab. Um, you just pull it out because this little thing is holding on to it. And that's the sticker, I guess, is when you scan it. And your glove is nice and folded. Hold on, let me put this to the side. <laughs> so yeah, this is basically how it looks, guys. So that's how you do it. And then you put it in your hand like so. <laughs> and this is basically how it looks. Being that my hand's a little bit smaller, I got like some leave out. Do you see that leave out? That's because your girl got little hands, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> yeah. Um honestly speaking, it's not it's not I don't hate it. It feels it feels okay. Like it's not something that I'll be like, oh, okay. Um, but yeah, it feels okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the screen to my surface and I'm going to start drawing and I'll do a little chippy for you guys and talk about, you know, how I feel about the whole glove within my process. So it turns out I lost all the file of me doing this, like sketching and everything because my computer decided to die on me. So... What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and just finish it all off, time lapse. Give you some uh give you some information on how I feel about the glove and see where we go from there. Alright. So basically how I feel about the glove is that it's very smooth when you're drawing. So um it made me not confident in my lines because I'm so used to being stuck with my hand that I didn't like I couldn't adjust till I was actually towards the coloring stage of this piece. Um, I did. I I noticed that when I put my hand on certain areas of the screen, it did not click other things. So um, what they say about the glove is actually true. Um, you don't click on things that are unnecessary. Your hand is basically an invisible thing that allows you to draw. Um, I had to adjust my glove a couple of times because being that the finger parts are very long on me, um, I had to adjust it to where it's not, you know, interfering with my pen. Um, again, this is just this computer, so I didn't have like the whole setup that I'm used to, but um, I was able to, you know, figure out what I was doing, get it together, and um, draw along with his tablet. His tablet is a lot bigger than mine, um, so I didn't click too much on other objects. But when I did use my blend modes or I was trying to click on colors or try to click on other things and my hand skimmed over it or like brushed over it, it did not touch it. Um, again, it was very smooth on the screen. It just like flew right past. So um, yeah, 
I think I'm okay with it. The only thing is I don't like how it kind of feels on me because my hand is very small. But that's about it. Right. That's basically what it looks like. <laughs> so yeah, it's just me and Chibi version. And um, yeah, for the glove, it's great quality. Um, just I don't know how it feels, you know, how it fits because my hands are tiny. So it's just, it, it gets in my way here and there. So it's something I have to play with and try to get used to because, you know, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. But um, perfect glove, you know. Okay, guys, so we're back, and that's basically how I feel about the whole thing. <laughs> just, I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's still something to think about, you know. Um, but yeah, guys, if you like this little review and unboxing with the artist talk and how I felt and stuff like that, go ahead and hit that like. And if you're new here and you're like, hey, best, I like the way you do things, go ahead and click that subscribe, become one of our posts, our family members, and enjoy what we do here. I continuously do art content. So yes, enjoy us. Um, again, guys, I stream every Friday. It's at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So be sure to be there or be square. Um, so yeah, guys. Um, again, thank you for watching, sharing, telling a friend, and helping a friend. Have an amazing rest of the day. Bye-bye.